Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing to you integration by substitution. So integration by substitution is a technique applied when the function f of g of x has g prime of x beside it. So what does it mean? So this only means that there's a function inside f and then its derivative is within it. Okay? So that means we have this um, g of x here. Let's just consider it, consider it as u. And then we have also here its derivative, which is the du. Okay, so to clarify further, let me give you some examples. Example number one, evaluate the integral of x squared plus 5 raised to the power of 3 to x dx. So we can apply integration by substitution here okay so how do we do it first you have to acknowledge g of x and its derivative so i can actually see here that if i will consider x squared plus 5 as my g of x or my u then its derivative exists actually that is 2x dx so as in this one okay so let u equals x squared plus 5 so why should I consider x squared plus 5? It's because I can see that the derivative of x squared plus 5 is actually 2x dx. So in this case, guys, x squared plus 5 is my g of x. Okay? And then that is actually the base of x squared plus 5 raised to the power of 3. So this is the base. Only, only x squared plus 5 is my g of x. And then I considered it as my u because I have seen that the derivative of this x squared plus 5 exists here beside it. That is 2x dx. So that is already my du. So that's why this is known as integration by substitution because you will now substitute u. So that means you will come up with u raised to the power of 3 du. So how did I do that? Again, since I consider u as x squared plus 5, then x squared plus 5 should be replaced by u. Okay, so this is u cubed because that is actually x squared plus 5 quantity raised to the power of 3. So that's why I have u cubed here. And then my 2x dx, notice that in this, um, if I will be, if I will consider u as x squared plus 5, then 2x dx is now the du. Okay, so basically they are just equal. So that means I have a u cubed du so i am replacing now 2x dx by the du so in this case guys it will be easier for me to integrate okay so i can apply now one of the, the basic integration rules so i will add one in the exponent and then divide it by um, the summation so that should be u raised to the power of 3 plus 1 or 4 all over 3 plus 1 which is 4 as well and then plus c and after that, I can actually replace it by the original value of u. So in this case, since u is equal to x squared plus 5, then I am now replacing this back by x squared plus 5 here. So I have this final answer, quantity x squared plus 5 raised to the power of 4 all over 4 plus c. So basically, I'm just using the variable u to integrate it simpler. And then once I get the final answer here, I will replace it back to the original. Okay, so that's example number one. Example number two. Evaluate the integral of 12x squared square root of 4x cubed plus 7 dx. So we have the solution here. First is I can actually exchange the position of 12x squared and the square root of 4x cubed plus 7 by commutative property of multiplication. So why should I do that? Of course, um, to make my solution more organized. Okay, because I have seen this 4x cubed plus 7 as a potential base or a potential value of u. And notice that if I will consider that as the value of u, and um, differentiating the, the value of u for x cubed plus 7 will lead me to 12x squared dx. So it's actually important to acknowledge the value of u or your u and its corresponding derivative. So I am letting u here as 4x cubed plus 7, 
Why? Because I have seen that if I will, if I will differentiate 4x cubed plus 7, I have now the 12x squared dx, which exists beside it. Okay? So I have now the u and the du, or the g of x and the g prime of x. So I am now ready to substitute. In this case, it will become the square root of u du. Okay, so in the same way, I am trying to replace 4x cubed plus 7, okay, here, so that becomes u this time. And then the value of du is 12x squared dx. So that means the 12x squared dx here in our given or in our function f is now the du. So I can apply again the basic integration rules we had last time. So I can... Um, uh, transform this function into the u raised to the power of one half du or applying now the integration rules or integration formula we have u raised to the power of three halves all over the three halves plus c so i am adding one to one half so again three halves is only from one half plus one and then of course the denominator must be the same as well so in this case i have now the two-thirds of u raised to the power of three halves plus c so algebraically this is a denominator or a divisor. So I can do the reciprocal here and then proceed to multiplication. So that means you have the two-thirds of u raised to the power of three halves plus c. Then I can replace now the original value of u. So this value, this u here should be 4x cubed plus 7. So that's why I have here two-thirds times the quantity of 4x cubed plus 7 raised to the power of 3 halves plus c. So again, I am just replacing the value of u or the, I am just replacing the variable u with the original given. So 4x cubed plus 7. And then I can simpl simplify further this one into 2, two thirds square root of the quantity 4x cubed plus 7 cubed plus c. And then I can break this down actually here into 2 and 1. So that means I have this two-thirds and then I have 4x cubed plus 7 square root of 4x cubed plus 7 because this has squared here so I can take it out into the square root so I have here 4x cubed plus 7 so what's left inside will be 4x cubed plus 7 and then plus c of course and then simplifying further uh, multiplying 2 and this binomial here will give me 8x cubed plus 14 and then this one here square root of 4x cubed plus 7 all over 3 plus C. Okay, so this is example number 2. Example number 3. So evaluate the integral of x squared square root of 2x cubed plus 7 dx. So in some cases, um, you will actually find or you will actually try to, to do some tricks in order to match the, the g of x and the g prime of x. So, if we have here the integral of x squared square root of 2x cubed plus 7 dx, I can exchange that one, or I can exchange the positions into the square root of 2x cubed plus 7x squared dx. And notice that if I will consider 2x cubed plus 7 as the u, or as the variable u, because again, in the same way as, as the previous examples, we consider the base as the potential, the potential u. Okay, but not all the time anyway so in just this just this in this case i will be considering it and then notice that the du is equal to the 6x squared dx which means it does not match into the remaining expression okay so unlike the previous examples after getting getting the derivative what's left is exactly the du but in this case guys it's it's quite different right because if you have this as um, the 2x cubed plus 7 is the value of u, then what's left will be x squared only and not 6x squared. So I will do something, okay, I'll do something so that the expression will match. So I'm multiplying 1 to the whole, to the whole given. Of course, you know that when you multiply 1 to the whole expression, it does not change the value. So I'm multiplying 6 times 6 here. Okay, this is basically equal to 1, so I'm not changing anything. So, which means I can actually multiply the numerator into the expression. So, if I will do that, I will come up with 1 over 6, okay, because the 6 in the numerator is being multiplied inside. 
So I have now here the 6x squared dx. So I am doing this one because I need to match the u and the du. If I'll just have this one, okay, so it does not match because I have u here, but the du is 6x squared dx here. But here in the expression given, that's only x squared dx. So I have to put 6 in there. But in order for me um, to, to not violate the rules in math, I need to divide it by 6 as well. Okay, after multiplying, I need to divide it by 6 so that I'll just consider it multiplying by 1. So in this case, I have now 2x cubed plus 7 as the u and the 6x squared dx as the du. Okay, so in, in short, guys, no? in short, it's actually safe to multiply um, numerical values as long as you do you do the same in the denominator so this is applicable when um, normally or usually when you have seen that when you have seen that the lacking part of the expression is only a numerical coefficient so in this case the lacking part is only six or the numerical coefficient six so it's actually not a problem or not a big problem all you have to do is to put 6 here or you will find a way to put 6 in here and one way of doing that is to multiply the whole expression by 6 over 6 okay so again i'm not violating here because this is only being multiplied by 1 and then the later part the same way as the previous examples i'll just replace this expression by u so i have now the square root of u and then 6x squared dx this one is the du so i have the du here so this is just substitution okay that's why it's known as integration by substitution then i have one over six integral of u raised to the power of one half du so applying the basic integration formulas last time i have now one over six times u raised to the power of three halves all over three halves so of course three halves is actually from one half plus one Okay, so 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, all over the 3 halves as well, plus the C. Then, again, applying reciprocal to the divisor, proceeding to multiplication. That's how we um, divide complex fractions. So I have now 1 over 6 times the reciprocal here of the, of the divisor, which is 2 thirds. And then you have U raised to the power of 3 halves plus C. Simplifying further, that will end up to 1 over 9 times u raised to the power of 3 halves plus c. So when you multiply these two fractions, that's actually 2 over 18. And then you can reduce that into 1 over 9. Or you may cancel 2 and then 6 here. So this is 1, this is now 3. So 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9. Oh, it depends, okay? So it's up to you. What is your comfort zone? And then, then putting back the original u or the original given, so u should be replaced by 2x cubed plus 7. So I have now 1 over 9 times 2x cubed plus 7 raised to the power of 3 halves plus c. Or I can simplify it further into this one. 2x cubed plus 7 square root of 2x cubed plus 7 all over 9 plus c. Well, another solution could be done for example number 3. So I have here an, alter an alternative solution. Evaluate the integral of the same given x squared square root of 2x cubed plus 7 dx. Solution. In this case, okay. I I will consider this as again the potential the potential u and then x squared dx as the potential du. So I will do differently here in on this on this part. So u is 2x cubed plus 7. When I differentiate, I have 6x squared dx. If you have remembered in the previous scenario, I multiplied 6 over 6 on this side or on this part here so that I will have 6x squared dx. But another solution could be done this way, in this way. So instead of multiplying or instead of manipulating this part here, I am manipulating this part here. So what I'm in, what I'm doing this in in this situation is I am all, I am dividing the whole expression by six or I am dividing both sides by six so that if I'll divide 
or so that I will come up with x squared d, x squared dx because notice that if I will divide this part here by 6 then what's left will be x squared dx which will now be the same x squared dx on the given expression so I have now du over 6 is equal to x squared dx okay so what's different in this solution is that I am manipulating the du and u in the previous example I am manipulating the given okay so I am trying to match the um, this expression here into this expression in the previous example but this time I am changing it okay so I am referring to the given already and then I am trying I am trying to manipulate this part here so that I will come up with the same x squared dx so what's different here is that my um, expression will become the integral of square root of u du over 6 again because when we proceed to to substitution this is u of course to x cubed plus 7 but x squared dx is not du okay this is not du but du over 6 again notice that x squared dx is equal to du over 6 so i am replacing or i am substitu substituting x squared dx by du over 6 and then after that i can uh, consider this as 1 over 6 right so this means this is just um, the numerical coefficient so i can just take it out 1 over 6 and then what's left will be the integral of square root of u du and then of course we will apply the same um, the same technique a while ago so i'll just change or um, transform the expression into u raised to the power of one half du so that it will be easier for me to apply the integration formulas and then i have now one over six times u raised to the power of three halves all over three halves plus c so this part here and this part here these are already the same as the previous example okay and then i have one six times two thirds times u raised to the power of three halves plus c and then that's one over nine times u raised to the power of three halves plus c and then replacing it again by the original given i have one over nine quantity of two x cubed plus seven raised to the power of three halves plus c and then i can simplify it further to two x cubed plus seven square root of two x cubed plus seven all over nine plus c okay so that's it for um, integration by substitution thank you